Hi, I'm Katie Doles. I was handed the lovely task of finding a school who excels at giving during this special time of year. It was a very difficult challenge since so many schools have stepped up to the plate in such a variety of ways. However, I made the excruciatingly tough decision to go on a trip to Fort McCoy School. There I met up with Deans Steve Epstein and Krista Boyd, who lead the school with two weeks of fundraising activities geared to raise money for United Way. Here's myself with the story. Chopped ice? Check. Liquid flavoring? Check. Hungry students at lunch? Double check. These are the three necessary ingredients to make a successful snow cone day at Fort McCoy School. Why snow cones? To raise money for United Way, of course. Fort McCoy deans Steve Epstein and Krista Boyd have a lot more activities in store for their students. Um, we basically created over two week period time the activities that we want to wanted to do for the kids so the kids can be involved and let the kids know where their donations are going to be used with the United Way and they were excited. They understand that yes I can pay this money to do this event or buy this thing however it's going to a good cause. We have hat day where the students can pay 50 cents for, uh, for wearing a hat and we have that twice this week. We also have snow cones. We had cotton candy day where students could buy cotton candy for a dollar. As a culminating activity, we are having a pie throw. The middle school will be throwing um, whipped cream pies at the favorite deans on campus. I buy a couple pies every year. It's pretty good. The staff usually gets pretty involved. You can really see the more competitive nature come out. So I, I, I take the baby step right there, the line right before, and hit him right in the face. All these activities that are going on, the money is being utilized for the United Way to help others, and the kids are aware of that, and they know that we're trying to help other people. Right? The other thing is it gives them a chance to see the fun side of us. Right, it, it does, position. absolutely. The United, it, doing this and being a coordinator gives, gives the students opportunities to see teachers, us all in a different light. Included in this two-week bonanza is Penny Wars. All right, now we're ready to collect money. While elementary classrooms compete to bring the most pennies by weight, middle schoolers are taking a more collective approach. Each grade level has its own money jug in the cafeteria where the students, during lunch, come up on the stage and put money in their grade level jar. The grade that donates the most money wins the pizza social. It gets a little hectic um, here and there, especially with the money all coming in and the penny wars, someone has to roll them, someone has to count it all. So that part gets a little hectic, but when you know it's for a good cause that you're willing to do that. And we just try to make it bigger and better every year and, and try to give them more events and more things to do in order to raise money for the United Way. It gets everybody excited, um, gives everybody a, a, a different outlook of really, you know, school. You know, we're here to, to also have, uh, do something for a good cause. Uh, so the students are learning in the process while they're having fun, plus they're coming to school and getting an education. So I think it's absolutely a great thing to be a part of and continue and want to continue to be a part of it. You know, it's something special we only do once a year for the students, and it's something that they really look forward to, and a lot of our kids don't get an opportunity to get out and have snow cones and cotton candy that often. So when they do, it's real special to them, and you can really see the excitement on their faces. Once we were informed that... Uh, we were the coordinators, we attended a United Way meeting and Chris and I got together, sat down and devised some activities that we thought would be fun for the school. This is my third year as being a part of the coordinator for the United Way. This is Chris's first year. If you just came in, raise your hand if you need to buy a snow cone. For schools who are considering joining United Way in helping others, here's a few tips from someone who knows. Try to be as creative as possible with whatever plan, you know, pre-plan, but try to be as creative. Get anybody you can to help you. Um, get everybody involved and make sure, you know, you have, you have enough supporting cast. It's a team effort. We could not do this without the people that are support us. This might be a little hectic and it's, it's going to be a little out of the norm and they're a little flexible and they're Gumby.